Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Pat here. And today we're going to be looking at this 1961 Fender Tweed Deluxe. This is a 5E3 Tweed Deluxe. This is the one that everybody goes bananas over. They're fantastic. Um, Neil Young famously used these. So the whole Cinnamon Girl, Cortez the Killer sound right here. Um, the client brought this in saying that it's uh, powering up and no sound. So let's open it up together and see what's going on with it. But first, a quick cool announcement. So if you ever wanted to build a tube band, but maybe you don't have the tools, it's a little intimidating, we are having an amp build workshop here. On June 7th, 8th, and 9th in Brooklyn, we're having a 5E3 amp build workshop. So the kits you would purchase on Stumac on a link. And for more information, you can go to my website. And this is the kit here. I'll do a demonstration at the end so you can hear it. Um, Stumac has also provided all the tools and the soldering irons um, for the course. So uh, if you're interested, go to my website. I'm doing the class with two really good friends of mine, John Reed from Brick by Brick Studios. And John's been kind of helping out in the shop, helping get caught up with repairs. And Colleen Fazio of Fazio Electric. Colleen and I just did a class in Los Angeles, like a theory class, and it was awesome. And we're going to be teaching theory at this class also, along with building your own 5e3. So if you're interested, go to my website and check it out. But let's take a look at this old 61 and see what's going on. Okay, I don't know what we're going to find underneath the hood, but let's take a look. Oh, mama. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's a rock show happening in the basement. Um, we have two blue molded caps, which could be original because this is a little later. It's a 61. We have a yellow Astron, two replaced uh, orange drops here. I'm not surprised. And some cheapy Illinois caps here. One, two, three, four, five. These are not good quality caps. And this is a pretty big band that tours the world and record with it, so I don't like that. I might want to recommend taking those out. Uh, we have a three-prong cable already installed. Got some vintage tubes here. Now let's make sure that there's nothing short it. So first thing I want to do is make sure that nothing is shorted. When I power it on, I don't want a shorted output transformer filter cap. I want to make sure the cathode bypass cap is not shorted because we don't want to damage the power tubes. And I'm not seeing any dead shorts. So it's powered up. All right, we have power. Complaint is no sound. Let's see. And we have B plus. And we have sound. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, there goes my troubleshooting video. So the amplifier seems to be working. So we want to look for an intermittent issue that would cause it to have no sound but powering on for the client. You want to check your rectifier tube. You want to check your speaker, intermittent filament connections, solder joints. So far, everything seems to be checking out okay. However, I do hear quite a bit of hum, and it is time to check out the capacitors. There's some conflicting information as to when Fender made the last 5E3 out of Fullerton, and I can tell you this is a 61. The tube chart dated to June of 61, as does the pot codes, the serial, and the transformer codes. The speaker is a 62 because the client told me that he put it in himself. It also would explain why we have some blue molded caps in here because it's almost a transition as they were transitioning to the brown fenders. This Astron has 35 volts on it. it. Doesn't necessarily mean it's leaking. This is what happens when you test in circuit because there is 35 volts on that node. However, I did pull this one leg and I am getting two volts leakage. So this cap has to go. The orange drops are still okay. And then now I'm going to test the value of the tone caps that are kind of hidden up here. I'm also going to remove the death cap, the original Astron death cap that's still up there, hidden in the corner. So our tone caps are testing good. We have this domino cap and this cap tucked to the side here of the pot. Both test spot on. I'm not a fan of these IC caps. And because the client tours and records, I elected to change them out for reliability. So I put in some nice FMTs. 
I also changed out the cathode capacitors. I got a little guy under there I changed out, under that brown devil. And we got two over here. And then I also changed that leaky astron with this Jupiter. I checked all the resistors, everything's in spec. All the tubes are good. And I just tested it and it's sounding pretty awesome. In the land of repair, no problem found is really annoying. It can make you kind of nervous that, hey, I don't want to give it back to the customer. Maybe I missed something. In this case, I think it just needed a servicing. The sockets were extremely crackly. The pots, especially the tone, as soon as you turned it, it was jumping up and down volume. So I think that's what was going on. So now I am going to hold it for a couple days. Thankfully, he's not in a rush, and we're going to test the heck out of it, getting it hot and cold and thermal cycling it and see if we can get it to act up. But I'm pretty confident that this is now ready to go. All right, now that we got that amp fixed, let's take a listen. First, a reminder, June 7th, 8th, and 9th, build a 5E3 right here in the shop. And the weekend before, the first and the second, if you want to build a Telecaster, there's literally going to be a guitar building class, Telecaster, right here in the same shop. So check out Precision Guitars for more info on that. And now let's hear Mr. Jim Parker play this Telecaster through this amp. That was Jim playing the 5e3 we're going to make in the class, and now let's take a listen to me playing the original. <laughs> 